Yo, what's up, guys? I'm playing Talon versus Jarvan in the jungle. So, these are my runes. So, I could have opted for First Strike or Conqueror. Right now, I'm going to execute as the damage is insane and I really, I'm really enjoying it. I do have Renatus Hunter, which might have been a mistake as I'll be I'll be going Ghost Blade this game. So, I'll have a, a lot of movement speed. But I don't think it's, you know, it's not bad. It's just I could have went Ultimate Hunter. And I mentioned that in my runes video. So here I'm starting Raptors, and then I'm going to go to my red buff. I'll be smiting my red. Okay, so what lanes do we have? So we have Pike, bot lane versus Zac, and then Fiore Aatrox. So top lane is going to be like a snowball matchup. <clears throat> uh, Aatrox is really strong right now, but I think Fiore should be a good counter. As she'll be able to like W, you know, uh, his Q. And he, he has a lot of dashes, so he can dodge Aatrox, Aatrox's abilities. So here, I'm quite low, but this is fine. I'll be regening later. So I'm just going to off-site this on WDs. So I'm going to use my E to go to my bot side. I could have actually ganked bot, uh, top lane. The only issue is if I you know, I don't get a kill, I'll be on the opposite side of where my jungle camps are. But I could have looked for top lane. <clears throat> but this is like the safest. Just in case this doesn't like, you know, go well. Uh, I don't have flash and Aatrox still has flash, right? I'm going to go for Gromp here and set off blue buff. And the reason is I want all my camps to re and, you know, uh, reset at the same time. If I was to do blue buff, the next time I come around to this side, uh, wolves would come back up and the Gromp wouldn't. But this way, the wolves and then the Gromp will come back up at the same time. So Jarvan's top side, he has 20 farm, same as me. So that means he skipped one camp. He probably skipped on up on uh, Gromp. So he did blue buff, it seems. So here we got 24, he has 20. And I'm gonna go for the skull. He's in the skull right now, and he's probably gonna go back to his Gromp to complete that. We can look for a bot gank here. Right, so this is not this is good. See if we can get Sax passive and then actually get a kill on him. He might have a jump, so I'm gonna Okay, kill that, nice. Yes. Okay, nice. Got a kill. Uh the wave is horrible. So I'm actually just gonna take Kaiser's wave and I'm actually doable with the person. So uh, that's fine. <clears throat> yes. Oh. No, but I do recommend taking the wave. Even though your ADC will probably tilt, this is most likely the best I'm gonna ping my top lane higher. But this is the best thing you can do, uh, because look, she's still running to lane, and like more than half of the minions would have died if I didn't take it. So either way, she would have been losing out on a lot. So here I want to go for a ghost blade, so I can they buy these. Cannon. Yeah, that's good. These are the components I'm buying, Dirk and Longsword. I'm going to build into a, a ghost blade rush and then into an Axiom Arc. That way I can have my ult cooldown reduced by a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna hover top side because Jarvan might be top still. And Fiora has a big wave, so I don't want her to die. So I can actually look for a gank as I have Ignite. Okay, here. She's quite low, so. Oh, that was a good reaction by her. I'm gonna go for an Ignite here just to reduce a, a healing that he does. And just guarantee the kill. So I'm actually gonna help him push as well. That way Aatrox doesn't. I mean, the Jarvan doesn't come and gank. I'm gonna go for the Void Grobs here because it's actually up. Uh, mid lane. Bot lane's no flash. Yeah. So what I can do is actually just go for one here. Okay, the Fiora's actually here. Because I helped her push the wave. So that's really good. So I'm going to keep my smite for when Jarvan comes. Even though I have two stacks. So right now, we haven't done anything crazy. You know, we've just picked up some free kills. We went bot lane. That everyone's playing you know, decently well. Fiora, you know, had a big wave. She got ganked twice. Got a solo kill. You know, everything's good. And Bonnie is you know, winning now. Zack doesn't have passive, so that's another kill that you get for free. That's awesome. They got Drake, which means, you know, Jarvan is bot side. Uh, Bonnie is like, quite healthy, so they have no issues in pushing that wave by themselves. I don't have to hover or anything. We can look to, we can look at mid lane whilst we clear the wave. Oh, clear the camps, I guess. Ping this for to get 5 gold. Smite that to pull out the Gromp. The bot lane is refalling, right? So, I've cleared everything here. I've, I have two wards, so I could use those before I switch to Oracle. 
my red buff is coming up, so this is a perfect time to recall. Get my items and... Oh, if I get this, this would be really nice. Because I can get enough for my Oracle. I mean, uh, Ghost Blade. So here... Oh, ward here too. Oh, I'm just going to jump in. You know, beautiful. So now I use both my wards, give vision for my team. I can get my uh, Ghost Blade and get Oracle. At the same time. Okay, so here I'm, I'm actually going to buy a pink ward. So pink wards, I don't recommend spamming, especially, you know, the lower ranks. Because first of all, they don't utilize the pink wards. And second of all, it's really, like, it's a waste of gold. And... It's only nice to give you the extra kills. So for example, let's say I use a ward, and because of the ward, I picked up a free kill. That's really worth, right? So here, top lane is struggling, so I'm gonna actually gonna... That's a good repost, I guess. Let me run with Ghost Blade. So here we should be able to pick up the kill. We have Ignite. I know. So we're gonna E this way. I'm just gonna ult instantly, and take up, take this wave. As, you know, the Fuhrer is actually gonna miss half of this. The same story again. So by pushing this, you're denying the Aatrox from getting the farm, whilst getting the whole amount. So here, I can actually run to my Krugs. And Jarvan's looking to hold this, so I can actually just fight him, as long as Aatrox doesn't have TP. So here... Oh, the CC... I can actually kill him still, if I... I can E over. And then I don't have to clear this wave. And I instantly use Ghost Blade. I can look for the... Scuttle here. I just have to make sure Aatrox is not here. And his top lane, that's perfect. I can take this, smite this just so I, I take it really quickly. Perfect. Take this. And I'm not gonna bother going in for an invade here. And I can fight this, but I don't I really don't wanna die. One more auto. Perfect. I hope push this one W. Okay, nice. She got the gun. And I'm gonna ping the Jarvan, just in case. So here, if Jarvan's good, he should go for my bot side. But he will be, he will probably go top, because I think when he died, when I killed him top lane, he didn't actually get to clear his wave. That's probably why he ran back top. So this, the Void Grubs are actually spawning. And I have a feeling I want to stay. I do have my ultimate. So what I'm going to do is mid lane has no prior, top lane is recalled. I can look for... Okay, he is here. Okay, he flashed out. Let me smite one. Okay, jump out. Wait for my team to rotate. Okay. Oh, they see me here. Okay. Zack is going to be in if he comes, he has no ult. Yeah, Pike should come too. Oh, Fiora's fighting and losing again. If he kites down to me, I can do some... I'm going to use Ghostblade to reposition and go for another kill here. So this guy should be very tilted. Ari has ult, so that's nice. I'm tanking. Okay. Um, so this is what we call the gold teammate. Basically, um, I tanked like three target shots and they missed everything. <clears throat> but this is fine. I gave one kick gold shot down to a choice, which really sucks. Um, but you know, what can you expect? It's on a plat elo, emerald plat, something like that. So. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna go for Axiom here. Um, so yeah, the team execution wasn't that good on my team's part, but I can't really do anything about that. So right now I'm gonna prioritize the the, the Void Grubs. Uh, you shouldn't lose a game because of it, but at the same time, you know, the first Drake isn't very important. They do have one Drake, to be honest. But the first, the first and second Drakes are not the most valuable, but it's best, obviously, if you don't let them stack up your stack up your drakes. So what you can do is tell your pike to ping, I mean ward the drake. Even though I don't think he has wards, maybe. So yeah, top lane is really bad at the game. We've ganked multiple times. 
killed Aatrox multiple times and he keeps losing. So, yeah, they added, they added. Yeah. So I'll see what I can do here. Okay, it's already gone, so we just don't die for it. That's fine. So yeah, I'll just go into full clear. See if I can get anything from his jungle. Walling should just play safe, because they already got Drake, so there's nothing to fight for. Okay, nice. Hero's fighting again, we can try to rotate. Okay, so he sees that I'm top. This is fine. I can auto kill auto. Take this. And recall. Okay. So now we can get this and we can instantly run into our jungle. I don't I didn't look where Robin ran. He could be in my jungle right now. Yeah, that's fine. No odds. Yeah. So we have ghost blade. We can use that. That's a good job. And use the ult. They, they, they all have no ult. All four. Yeah. Cool. So. Nice. Should be nice. Let's see if there's a Zack. Maybe the Ari can get that. And Ari didn't get that. Nice. Hmm. Well, it's not the worst. <coughs> Got some free kills, I guess. So now I can actually get my Axie Mark. So what I'm going to do is just full clear this real quick. Uh, what is that? That's Rift Herald. So Rift Herald is coming up. So what I could do... Okay, well he died again. So... I was gonna look for a recall into Rift with my new items. But Fiora is dead, so I'm just gonna, you know, wave clear. And if they get Rift, it's fine. Uh, yeah, let's see, Aatrox is actually going for the turret again. So I'm actually gonna punish this by... Using Ghost Blade and just using my ult instantly. There you go, free kill. Uh, I can't take the next wave. Fiora just... Okay, he's teleporting, so... This is fine. What, he can, what I can do is start Rift. He can push out the wave. And then once he finishes pushing out the wave, he can come to me. So he can take that. And I'll do this. Okay. So this is actually... Jones uh, here. I don't have Smite. Okay, now I do. So it just came up. Lux is missing, so I don't want to go into Fog of War. I don't want to get CC'd. That's the worst thing I can do right now. I don't have Smite, so this is probably not the smartest. But I probably shouldn't be fighting. Zach's going to be coming to mid lane. Okay, I'm just checking if anyone's here. Seems to be fine, so we're going to flip this right now. Okay. Perfect. Is, uh, Jorvan's... Mid lane, he went to his Raptors. I'm gonna use W, then E. Go for auto to auto. And then I can instantly run back to top. Because my ult's back up and Aatrox won't expect me to come back top. Instantly. So if you just fight this, go over. Mm, yeah, that's... Okay, wait, W, Q. Okay, cool. Now I could um just ult sight this. I don't need to use my Rift. We already have flash, it's coming up. Okay, so here, I'm just gonna press W to help her a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna instantly go for a regal here with Rift. Team is doing fine. Uh, you don't, that's all we need. So here, I'm actually gonna go for. Hmm, let's see, Edge of Night. And the reason I'm gonna do this is I wanna stack up some more lethality for the Axiom Mark. I think that's how it works now. So the more lethality, the more. He actually gets reduced, if I'm not mistaken. And I want Edge of Night oh, he took your blue buff. for the Lux. Yeah, that's fine. For the Lux Q. Yeah, I can go for a Q fly. Oh, that's a weird enemy. Yeah, <laughs> so here I'm gonna actually just run instantly. Lux sees me, but. Okay, no one. It's too late now. So I can actually do the red buff and go into bot lane. Yeah. Let me smite that because someone's here. 
if I just place the rift here right now. Okay, I don't know how to drive this, so this is my first time. Okay, whatever, we're just gonna crash into it and then just do that, I guess. That was my first time drifting, but it was like a mini drift. I'm gonna hit it, so I'm gonna go for the Krogs. And Drake's up, so if Kaiser can path two Krogs in the Drake, that would be wonderful. So that's my, it's at 1.2k. Oh, okay, I didn't really see the HP of the great. But here I'm gonna run to my team. I have Oh in 10 seconds, but he's already dead. So I'm gonna just run here instead. Alright. Let me just take the raptors. Cool. You guys should back off from here. Now what I can do is run into my own jungle, but the thing is. Jobin is, I mean, Jobin's dead and he was bot side, so that means his top jungle is up. So what I can do is just deny him his top jungle, whilst he's dead. And then when he comes back alive, I can literally just either fight him or go to my own jungle. Yeah. So he, Jobin should like probably EQ over here. Oh, someone's here. I can just literally run away. Boom. Peace out. Okay, this is fine. Dodge that. Dodge that as well. And as I said, now I can just go to my jungle. Is he gonna hit the wall? Okay. I can hit this. Yeah, so Jarvan literally has nothing up. And he can't really come into my own jungle. I have a lot of gold, so I'm gonna recall. I could go to Krogs, but then that would push me away from my bot side of jungle. And, you know, Jarvan's probably gonna go to my bot side. So here, what I can do is actually just counter gank this. Okay, he's dead here. We're just looping around. And I'm just gonna go back into the jungle. No point of forcing things. Baron's coming up in 40 seconds, so what we can do is just chill, reset, play my jungle, reset, look for a fight, uh, get Baron, and end the game. Super easy. So I do want to go for a reset, but I might as well clear this. Then, if I clear my bot side jungle, I can instantly run to the top side and I won't have to worry about not clearing my bot side because I would have already done it before Baron spawn. But if I recall now, I'll have to run to my bot side and then I'll lose tempo. So I want to do basically the things I don't want to do now before Baron, you know. Okay, so here I already use this teleport bot side which is not the best but it's okay to create pressure whilst Baron's coming up. Uh, however, uh, what do I want to buy? Okay, whatever, I'll just go with this buy. I was thinking if I want to get the last Whisper. They don't have too much armor yet. I mean, they have a bit. But I'm going to go for the damage here. So here I'm going to run to my team instantly. Ari doesn't have teleport. So it doesn't really matter, we can just win. Uh, if my team keeps going in, uh, I can just kill them. Yeah. Uh, well, we have Edge of Night for this purpose. So I can just run in like crazy. And then, okay, here. I can go for a tubby timing. There you go. Oh, my bad. Yeah, okay. So I'll just W, chill, my, wait for my ult to come up. Okay, so Jarvan's probably going to bot lane Raptors. So what I can do is I can loop around. Over here. Okay, I find him here, and I can just go for a one shot if Ari actually just goes in. So he has no EQ. Is he gonna hook him? Oh, uh, we'll do that. I mean, so I'm just gonna wait, wait for him to use his abilities, and then I don't want to use my ult, even though I have Axie Mark. Nice. We can now go for the turret. Pretty easy. I can do a cross just to heal up a little bit, and then I'm going for a recall because I have enough gold. I think. That'd be cool. Let me just W this, E away. Let me see if I can do the Raptors as well. Unless he already cleared those. Yeah, he did. Okay. So I can, once I recall, I can stand here. Red buff is coming up in 7 seconds, so I can just go. I just back off. If he hooks this, that would be nice. Okay. 
I've got this. Lux is the boat side, so I'm gonna uh, kite to, towards this direction. Okay, nice. So now I'm gonna do Scuttle Crab. My boat side is up, so I might do that again, same story, and look for a Baron play. Drake is actually coming up, so what I'm gonna do is Reaper now. So I'm for Drake. I'm, like, I'm ready for Drake fight in time. I'm picking my team away because they shouldn't be fighting before Drake and whilst I'm in base. I am the most fed player on the team, so they should play around with me. So yeah, I'm just going to go for opportunity, this way I can just increase my lethality all around. And this is basically my last item anyways. <clears throat> that can be shot how much ability he's down. One, that's crazy. So here, Drake's actually up, so we're going to park here, W this whilst we run. Okay, cool. Team is fighting. Uh, we're not even fighting for Drake yet. But... Okay. He's gonna charm. Okay, I guess he used charm already. I could just jump in and kill all of them, but it's better if I just wait. Okay, here, there's a good time. Okay, this he has this blobs. If I take this, my axiom mark will go down. Okay, cool, five seconds now. So we can keep going if we get anyone else. Ari's gonna die, probably. Yeah, just do that. Okay, I'm just gonna go Drake here. Could have played it a bit better, probably, but I mean, the outcome is fine. <clears throat> so I'm gonna WE, get my Q off before I get CC. That way, I can. Uh, what's it called? My Q, comp, my Q comp, cooldown comes back up. So here we can just run into Baron and we'll ping our team. Uh, Drama is up, but we can literally just force this Baron play. Pike should just come. So when your team doesn't actually combo, you can just like you either just stand that barrel or like you spamping it. But basically, you like you need to be able to like direct your team to come towards the play, and you could do that by actually going towards the. Like, let's say they want a five v five mid lane, but you don't actually come. They kind of forced to either you know do a four v five and lose the game, which is really good. But um, or you can just go to the baron yourself and people will just come because you're there. So here I'm just gonna have you this and recall. Yeah, I'm not recalling. Okay. Gump is up. So there's multiple people here. I'm dead here. Uh that ult by me was not the best. I'll be honest. Well I tried recalling but my recall didn't go off. And then I decided to stay because I saw the Gromp. Okay, so we're 100 gold short from our item. So I'm going to actually just go for a bot play here. And just quickly clear this. We're almost level 18 too. So might as well clear the whole camps. Okay. We got our item. Okay, so now Drake's coming up in two minutes. I kind of just want to fight, but our team is like split pushing. Brute force this turret. Stuck in this. Drake's coming up in 30 seconds, I don't want to die for no reason. So I'm just going to back off, do the jungle, heal up a little bit. Okay, let's see the fight. Okay, our ult's in 17 seconds now.
cool. Okay. Well, that's how you win with jungle, guys. If you have any questions, comment down below and join the Discord. Peace out.